Good evening, everybody. Now, if you want to join in with tonight's awards ceremony and perhaps send messages of congratulations to any of the award recipients and the new appointees, you can do this by using the chat button facility, which is located at the bottom of your screen. Now, you need to choose the drop down option of panelists and attendees, which lists all the award winners and will also allow you to see your comments. Enjoy. My Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, Assembly Member, Councillors, Brigadier, Air Commodore, Chairman and Chief Executive, Honoured Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the Lord Lieutenant Awards Ceremony for Gwynedd for 2021. Throughout the year, reservists in Wales provide valuable support to our regular armed forces, both at home on operational duties and in their local community. Our cadets, whether from the Sea Cadet Corps, the Army Cadet Force, Air Training Corps or the Combined Cadet Force, grow and develop into responsible, confident young citizens, achieving enormous training and sporting success, as well as providing support to their communities through many and varied activities. These endeavours help maintain the good name of the armed forces in Wales. And finally, our adult volunteers devote time, energy and effort that is truly humbling to ensure that our cadets gain maximum benefit from what for many can be life-changing experiences in preparation for adult life. The award ceremonies, held annually by the Lord's Lieutenant of Wales, are an opportunity for deserving individuals to be publicly recognised within the community in which they live and serve for their contribution to the reserves and to the cadet forces. This evening, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant for Gwynedd will be making the following presentations. The Lord Lieutenant Certificate of Merit, the Lord Lieutenant Cadet Certificate and Lord Lieutenant's Badge for last year, 2020, and the Lord Lieutenant's Cadet Appointments for 2021. The Lord Lieutenant's Certificate of Merit The Lord Lieutenant's Certificate of Merit records the Lord Lieutenant's gratitude and recognition for outstanding service and devotion to duty. This year, there are six Certificates of Merit to be awarded. Petty Officer Daniel Jones from Holyhead Sea Cadet Corps Petty Officer Jones has attained a number of notable achievements that are worthy of recognition. He is an outstanding instructor who is determined, reliable, knowledgeable and highly professional in discharging all of his duties. Through his actions, Daniel has successfully supported his unit both in his role as a stores officer responsible for uniforms and for equipment and in his role as the unit training officer where he has led the planning and the conduct of training for all of the cadets. Whether assisting the Royal Marine Cadet Troop or other units within the district, Petty Officer Jones has been a source of information and sound advice for other instructors during the planning and the conduct of this field training. Daniel is also an inspiration to many of the newer members of staff who respect his determination, his loyalty and his willingness to give them advice and offers of help. Petty Officer Jones displays all the personal qualities and the ethos that underpin the Sea Cadet Corps, and it is in recognition of his selfish dedication to the organisation and its members that he is highly recommended for the award of a Lord Lieutenant Certificate of Merit. From the Holyhead Royal Marine Cadet Detachment, Sea Cadet Corps Sergeant Becky Miller. Sergeant Becky Miller has achieved much in her cadet career. She is an outstanding instructor whose reliability, determination and professional knowledge allow her to adapt to changing situations with ease and whose notable sense of humour boosts the morale of everyone around her. Through her actions, Becky has successfully supported her unit in her role as Royal Marines Cadet Detachment Commander, where she has been responsible for the kit, equipment 
and training of the Royal Marine Cadets and their staff. Within the district, whilst assisting the District Royal Marine Cadet Troop as Troop Clerk, she has proven to be a valuable source of support to the Troop Commander and to the instructors during the planning and conduct of field training, and most noticeably, she produced 20 prosthetic wounds for use in first aid practices by hand and not at insignificant personal financial cost. Becky is also highly regarded by many of the newer members of her staff who enjoy her unstinting willingness to advise and to assist. Consequently, Sergeant Miller is now a pivotal instructor in the delivery of troop events. In acknowledgement of her personal qualities, her dedication to the organisation, and the ethos that she instills in our cadets, Sergeant Becky Miller is highly recommended for the award of the Lord Lieutenant's Certificate of Merit. Major Wendy Thomas Major Wendy Thomas joins the Amluk Detachment of Cluid and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force in January 2013. She undertook her initial adult training within months of coming on strength and shortly afterwards, in November 2013, attended her adult instructor's course with the cadet training team and was promoted to the rank of sergeant instructor. In March 2014, she was appointed as an adult under-officer and started to work towards a cadet forces commission. In August 2014, she was appointed as the detachment commander of Amluk Detachment, where she remained until August 2017, when she became the company staff officer for Martinique Company, which is responsible for adult instructor training. In February 2015, Wendy attended the Cadet Forces Commissioning Board, on completion of which she was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant, and upon successfully completing her two-year probationary period, was promoted to lieutenant in February 2017. As a result of her sterling work as the area staff officer for Martinique Company, she was promoted to the rank of captain in March 2019, and subsequently in December 2019, she assumed the role of officer commanding Martinique Company, which remains her current appointment. During the COVID-19 lockdown, Major Thomas has been instrumental in ensuring that those Cadet Force adult volunteers who have recently joined the Army Cadet Force did not fall behind with their training. Indeed, she set up Google Classrooms for all levels of adult training to allow Cadet Force adult volunteers to continue with their initial training. And this was a considerable task which has benefited a significant number of the volunteers. Alongside this, Major Thomas has also spent time arranging interviews for potential adult instructors who have made inquiries during the lockdown period, thus ensuring a steady stream of new adult instructors for the Army Cadet Force in North Wales. She was promoted to Major in December 2020. For her commitment and hard work for the Army Cadet Force to date, and in recognition of her contribution during the COVID-19 lockdown, Major Wendy Thomas is strongly recommended for the award of Lord Lieutenant's Certificate of Merit for 2020. From the Cluid and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force, Staff Sergeant Instructor John Owen. Staff Sergeant Instructor John Owen is a committed Cadet Force adult volunteer within Minden Company. He is the detachment commander in Carnarvon and has successfully recruited and built the detachment strength so that it is really thriving and active detachment. John is proactive at arranging interest and varied syllabus training with regular liaison and interest sessions arranged by him with representatives from the Welsh Guards and 3rd Battalion, the Royal Welsh. Staff Sergeant Instructor Owen routinely attends company training weekends leading the basic delivery of cadet instruction. His approach to these young people is fantastic to behold and results in highly motivated cadets who enjoy achieving their basic training goals. 
During lockdown, John has been active in arranging activities and interest sessions and has delivered virtual training sessions for cadets at company level. In sum, Staff Sergeant Instructor John Owen is a solidly reliable Cadet Force adult volunteer who inspires and motivates his cadets. In recognition of his significant contribution as a Cadet Force adult volunteer, Staff Sergeant Instructor John Owen is strongly recommended for the award of a Lord Lieutenant's Certificate of Merit. From St Bridget's School, Combined Cadet Force, Captain Anne Bunn. Captain Anne Bunn started her Combined Cadet Force career in the southwest of England in 2002, joining St Bridget's School CCF as officer commanding the Army Section in April 2009. She was promoted to captain after her advanced Combined Cadet Force course in March 2011. Anne is a key administrator for this contingent. She is the Denbyshire County Council planning lead, ensuring compliance with Adventurous Activity Legal Framework. She is the Duke of Edinburgh Programme Manager, having supported over 350 participants to achieve more than 450 awards, including 35 at the highest gold level. After the local education authority withdrew all support, she was instrumental in obtaining an operating authority license and was the educational lead to deliver BTEC in public services, ensuring our young people obtained national recognition of their cadet activities. For a short period, as stand-in school staff instructor, she was also the main planning officer for all contingent activities. It is outside the office, however, that Anne is at her best. Active on nearly every one of our events, she has attended every Army summer camp since 2009, every brigade climbing competition since 2010, and many skill-at-arms meetings, Cambrian patrols, and other field days. She has supervised cadets at over 20 full-day climbing sessions and has taken many groups up Snowdon. As well as being participant in more than 50 UK-based ex expeditions undertaken on Anglesey, the Cluidians, Snowdonia and the English Lake District, she has taken part in two overseas expeditions to Kenya in 2014 and to South Africa in 2016, taking responsibility for cadets who were embarking on trips of a lifetime. Anne has training qualifications in mountain trekking and indoor climbing and is a Duke of Edinburgh Gold Level Expedition Assessor. She has been an obstacle course supervisor and mobile climbing tower supervisor as well as an amateur swimming association teacher, she, thus officiating at all our swim tests. She has even represented Anglesey at the World Island Games at Triathlon in 2019. Captain Anne Bunn has supported the Combined Cadet Force for many years, and she is immensely proud that her own daughters are now part of the contingent. In recognition of her significant contribution to the Combined Cadet Force, Captain Anne Bunn is strongly recommended for the award of a Lord Lieutenant of Gwynedd Certificate of Merit. From the Holyhead Sea Cadet Corps, Mr. Craig Tildesley. Mr. Craig Tildesley's achievements and contributions during his service to the unit are noteworthy. He is an outstanding individual who has selflessly dedicated much of his free time to support the delivery of a thriving community youth organisation. Through his actions as member of the unit's management committee, he has successfully fulfilled the roles of supporter, treasurer, secretary, vice chair, and unit health and safety officer. As treasurer, he has been responsible for the control of funds which have allowed the unit to deliver the best possible experiences for our members using the best equipment and the safest environment within which to train. He is always ready to help and advise and has been a real source of support and guidance to the unit's leadership team, where his good humour 
and wisdom are greatly valued. As a stalwart of the unit and in his role as a health and safety officer and advisor, it is no understatement to highlight that without his efforts week in, week out, ensuring that the unit is safe and up to date with policy and mandatory certifications, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, the unit would not have been able to function. As a founder of the Hearts of Oak Living History Group, Craig has also been a leading light in introducing the cadets to naval history. This has proven to be a very popular subject where participants have learned how to serve cannon and identify the different roles and uniforms of naval sailors of yesterday by becoming part of a fictional ship's crew. All of this provision has been at Craig's own effort and personal expense and is greatly appreciated by the unit. In sum, Mr Craig Tilsley is an exemplar for the qualities and the ethos that we try to instil in our cadets and his long overdue recognition of his significant contribution to the Sea Cadet organisation. Mr Craig Tilsley is highly recommended for the award of a Lord Lieutenant Certificate of Merit. The Lord Lieutenant's Cadet Certificate and Badge for 2020 The Lord Lieutenant's Cadet Certificate and Badge are awarded to members of the Cadet Forces in recognition of those individual cadets' performance during the previous year in support of the Lord Lieutenant. This year, for their performance during 2020, the Lord Lieutenant of Gwynedd's Cadet Certificate and Badge is awarded to... Cadet Corporal Ossian Rhys Jones of Clwyd and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force, and to Cadet Warrant Officer Katie Marsh of No. 2 Welsh Wing RAF Air Cadets. The Lord Lieutenant's Cadet Appointment for 2021. The Lord Lieutenant has a number of cadets each year nominated by the Sea Cadet Corps the Army Cadet Force, the RAF Air Cadets, and the Combined Cadet Force. Cadets are nominated for their outstanding contribution to their respective cadet units. The cadets will support the Lord Lieutenant on special occasions, such as royal visits, remembrance parades, and civic events. For 2021, the appointed Lord Lieutenant Cadets for Gwynedd for this year are as follows. From Clwyd and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force, Cadet Corporal Elise Faraka. Cadet Corporal Elise Faraka is one of Minden Company's senior cadets whose skill and self-confidence have grown immeasurably since she joined the Clwyd and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force in January 2018. Elise is an enthusiastic role model for junior cadets who attends regularly and takes every training opportunity that is open to her. Cadet Corporal Faraka is always smart, well presented, and displays great self-discipline that exudes a positive demeanour. During lockdown, Cadet Corporal Faraka has actively progressed her Duke of Edinburgh Silver Award, completing all sections apart from the expedition phase, as this is currently not running. She has learned British Sign Language as her skill and has been awarded a Duke of Edinburgh Silver Certificate of Achievement for 2020. Elise Faraka has also produced and delivered virtual training sessions for other cadets in her detachment during the lockdown, thus ensuring that they remain engaged and connected despite the absence of face-to-face training. In sum, she is a credit to the Army Cadet Force. In recognition of her dedication and commitment to Clwyd and Gwynedd Army Cadet Force, Cadet Corporal Elise Faraha is highly recommended for the appointment of Lord Lieutenant's Cadet for Gwynedd for 2021. From No. 2 Welsh Wing, RAF Air Cadets, Sergeant Mia Jones. Cadet Sergeant Mia Jones is well respected by her fellow cadets and by all the squadron staff at 1465 Gwynedd Squadron. 
She is currently actively involved in mentoring and training the junior cadets of the squadron through their first class training syllabus and introducing younger members to the RAF Air Cadet experience. Away from cadets, Mir is currently studying the sixth form at Iskol Trivan. Cadet Sergeant Jones is very active representing the squadron at community events and never fails to attend any event in which the unit participates. Whilst at these events, she always takes a pivotal role assisting the event and the squadron staff, as well as ensuring that the well-being of all cadets is attended to and, most importantly, that they are also enjoying themselves. Since joining 1465 Gwynedd Squadron in August 2016, Mia has grown immensely in character and has taken an active role assisting with the training of the junior cadets of the squadron. Since the suspension of face-to-face -face training activities in March 2020, Mia has been an invaluable asset to the staff team and the delivery of the virtual training program, where she has organised online quiz nights to engage the cadets and to give them some light relief from syllabus subjects. The highlights of this gifted cadet's career so far have been working at the annual Anglesey County Show and at the Vintage Rally. Her best personal achievement to date was when she attained her bronze air experience flight rings. Cadet Sergeant Mia Jones is a mature, well-rounded cadet who throws herself into the many aspects of RAF Air Cadet life, and she is thoroughly recommended for the award of Lord Lieutenant's Cadet for Gwynedd. My Lord Lieutenant, thank you. That concludes the award ceremony. May I now please invite you to say a few words, sir? One of the Giona Bonadigasai, the Divari Methibor and Achmis Karnoson Holt Puisigma, Yasquit Law of Hongavach Memberson, who trade and needed in Absonia Thim and Lay Hire Wealth of Obrion or Gubu. Well, can the Hill of the Penny in Asmi with Dry Sikrai Hevid? Mae'n hyn radai fi, yn adlu wrth yn union teimlo radai i mor hydi i'r lleoedd wrth gefn a'r cadetiaid. Whilst regretting not being with you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, to hand over the particular and well-deserved awards, it in no way diminishes the value of those awards, nor indeed the gratitude and respect we feel towards you for your actual service and benefit to our communities. As a Queen's representative, I can assure you that my feelings accurately reflect those of Her Majesty. Tonight we have an opportunity to recognise and thank a few people who in the hectic society in which we now live are sometimes overlooked. I gen yr llio ddwrth gefn rôl anfodol yn amddiffyn ein genedl ac i chadw pobl yn saff. And we're extremely fortunate to have such fine part-time soldiers, sailors and air personnel. They remain part of our community and we are especially proud of them. And despite the changes in the way they operate, their dedication remains the same in serving their country as reservists. This year over 200 have been mobilised to help in the fight against Covid-19 and virus. In previous years many thousands have been mobilised to assist their regular counterparts. We really do owe them a huge debt of gratitude. The Cadet Association is a wonderful organisation of the benefits of training in the military, in youth work, in civilian qualifications and community work provided on the whole by a voluntary team of dedicated officers and civilian instructors. And whilst congratulating the cadets on their undoubted success, and I really do, I equally want to record my gratitude to those instructors for the vital role in their achievements. As parents and family members, you may recognise how those achievements have led to increased self-discipline, confidence and pride, and how those benefits sit comfortably on the shoulders of your youngsters. And understand, like me, that can only lead to a more complete young person whose future will certainly be enhanced in whatever career they choose. You too, as parents and family members, must be thanked for your continued support and encouragement. I am certain you are as proud of them as we are. Time is one of the most important investments we can give one another, and so you two are recognised most definitely in their success. To our special guests present, I extend a warm hand of welcome. Whether you are employers, would-be employers, armed forces or authority representatives, or have any other interest, you too are most welcome and we appreciate your presence. We hope 
especially if this is your first time you'll be impressed at the qualities of all the young men and women present. May I also take the opportunity to thank sincerely the RFCA team as efficient and dedicated a group of people it's been my pleasure to work with and they are always helpful and fortunately multi-talented to have been able to adapt to online ceremonies such as this. On a personal note their leader Colonel Nick Beard who I've known for probably 45 years is due to retire in June. He has simply been marvellous and I've always enjoyed his company, his charm and his good humour combined with the innate ability to get the job done with as little fuss as possible has certainly promoted and enhanced the standing of the RFCA in Wales. I wish he and Judy a delightful retirement. His will be difficult shoes to fill. I look forward to seeing you all ladies later this year and working with my newly appointed cadets following the regrettable minimal experience I was offer, able to offer last year's, but sincere thanks to them for their patience and understanding. Thank you. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Now, please keep an eye on our website and our social media channels over the coming days for any updates on tonight's event. And that'll also include a full recording of the ceremony, which will be posted on our YouTube channel. Thanks again and good night.